What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are on Shav's last group ride with Dee finally joining us on another group ride. She's on the Zoo's 1100, Shav's on my Super 73 RX, and of course, I am on the Suron where I have been learning wheelies and getting better daily. I can't wait to show you guys my progression. But on this video, we are gonna be comparing these three e-bikes from stealthiest to non-stealthiest, and we'll also take it on the trails and see if we have any Karens give us any kind of problems today. But before we get started on this video, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. Check out the link for the Super 73RX. Get $100 off your order. And check out that link down below for the Zoos 1100. Use code SHREDDY220. Get $150 off your order. If none of these products are for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. All right, guys, so I've been unlocking a new level of Suron wheelies. What you just saw was a little bit of foot dragging, and then you pull up your feet, Then after you feel more comfortable with your feet kind of floating, you put your feet on the pegs. Well, as you can see, Dee's on a Zoos 1100, and uh, just so you guys know, they got the, I think it's called the Ultra Flex 1200. It has dual rear suspension and a front fork suspension. We're gonna have that on a channel very soon. Damn, everybody's rubbernecking on our bikes. I don't know if it might be just a Suron. You guys are wondering what this thumb throttle is here on the left. That is my Regen thumb throttle. Comes with a GLE dashboard. And if you're interested in a BAC 4000 or 8000 over at Greenline Engineering, check out that link down below. Use code SHREDDY to get 5% off your order. That's pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. All right, we leave time. Feet up. Turn into a power wheelie, that's when I drop it. It's funny, these like on the most stealthy bike here, yet she's going the fastest. Just gotta hit a little bit of off-road and just gotta watch out for her. ticks though. Oh my God, that is so much fun. I'm literally drifting this. Please no deer, please no deer, please no deer. Illegal. There's so many ticks back here, guys. I actually have a friend that got bit by the Lone Star tick in the woods hunting and he got a meat allergy and also went deaf in both his ears. It's crazy, we got freaking cactus in Delaware. The Zoos 1100, this is the first generation Zoos 1100. It's a 52 volt e-bike with an 1100 watt direct drive hub motor on the rear. And it also came with a 20 amp hour battery. The new one's gonna be like a 1200 watt motor, a little bit more power than that. I can't wait to see what it's all about. <laughs> also, the top speed of the Zoos 1100 is 33 miles an hour, as opposed to the 750 that goes about 26 miles an hour. Smooth. And as you can see, the Super 73 isn't super duper stealthy because I got that headlight on the front, so it makes it look like very motorcycle style. But with it having working pedals, it's still gonna get you by a little bit easier than something like this with fake pedals. And with all the crackdowns I keep on hearing about in California, I would feel a lot safer riding a Zoos on the bike trails than I would something like a Suron. So if you wanna get future proof with all the crackdowns happening everywhere, definitely get yourself a bike that you can take on trails and that can be tuned down to something like a class two. And also if you got a Suron, Talari, any bikes like that, maybe think about getting some turning signals and brake lights on there. That way when it's time to get these registered, you're ready to go and you're a little bit future proof. I don't want that to happen, but unfortunately the crackdowns are starting to happen. I see it everywhere, guys. We are at the Lewis Ferry that takes you over to Cape May right here. There's a cool little restaurant there called The Grain and then they have a little coffee shop you can get really awesome frappes from. So I'm coming here, I'm grabbing a frappe. All right, so this is a caramel frappe from Lewis Coffee Company. What'd you get? Hazelnut. Hazelnut. It's literally like a milkshake. It tastes really good. Whatever this machine is they use back here, that thing over there made this thing amazing. It's bussin'. Bussin'. Oh, just in time for the ferry to come in. Perfect. Bam, they backed that in like a gentleman. Frappe destroyed, destroyed. So I have heard like with the crackdowns happening in California that some people are getting their Surons or their hard powered bikes taken away from them. If they don't get the bikes taken away from them, it's like a $2,300 charge, which is crazy. I'm just hoping it doesn't happen like that here in Delaware. I know everything happens in California first and it scoots its way on down this way. But anyways, I'm gonna be practicing wheelies. Like 
Panzer car. Uh huh. Which is just like. <laughs> Let's get some wheelies again. Nice straight road. <laughs> Turn into a power wheelie. So this is the Roosevelt Inlet in Lewis Beach, Delaware. So if you guys are ever around this area, let me know. Oh, this is the spot. This is the spot. Hell yeah. Are right, you ready? Feet up. Yes, that was it guys. That was it. That house got hit by a cannonball and it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> now she's getting a hang of it, guys. She's actually on the throttle. Thank goodness. Chris, she's on a throttle. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> well, throw a like Caribbean on the throttle, Jack. Come on, baby. <laughs> guys, in the comments down below, out of all three bikes here on today's ride, which one is your number one favorite and your number two favorite? All right, you know what we do. Every time you see that grass, you get... Definitely gotta ride through this grass every time we see this one. <laughs> Woo! That is so much fun. <laughs> yeah! Riding through the grass. Yeah, that's a normal sound of that motor. That's how it sounds. That was using the old school square wave controller. The new ones are using sine wave controllers. Turtle crossing. I gotta do that. Gotta yeah. Get so there's terrapin, Delaware terrapin turtles like lay their eggs on the side of the road or you know on the side here and stuff. And on the trails too in Cape Town Lipin. It's crazy. Damn, look at the beautiful Nat Geo out there, guys. There's a line, it's eating a giraffe. That's crazy. For shorter people that are looking for a lower e-bike, the Zoos is definitely the right one for you. D is five foot two, and she fits pretty great on that. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> That's the best one I've gotten. Thank you for being with me on my best around wheelie today. All right, wheelie attempt number, I don't know what we have had on this video. All right, Shav's gonna race me on the RX and I'm on the Zoos 1100. Three, on your mark. Two, one, go. go. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, oh Zoos destroyed. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it going. Damn, you, you won with like one battery bar left. If you guys are enjoying this video up until now, definitely don't forget to drop a like. So right now I am at six kilowatts pushing 420 phase amps. Thank you, Jay Styles, for giving me these wheelie tuning tips. And also, turn your field weakening all the way down to zero. And the throttle response is about at a 15 on the GLE dashboard. So you want it nice and snappy. If you guys are enjoying DD, finally joining our group ride, definitely don't forget to drop a like for DD and uh, maybe throw a little heart emoji for her down in the comments. Even though I have such a non-stealthy e-bikes, I haven't had any issues at all today on the trails. What you have to do is just keep it chill on the trails when you're around people. Hell yeah, everybody's loving the berries today. Oh my God, what? my rider bag is finally dead. I've had probably like 150 rides with this rider bag and lots of weight in there. I ripped the heck out of that. It's done me well. Oh really? Oh, that's dead. No foot drag, come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm getting so much braver. A lot happier with these freaking wheelies, guys. Give me some more confidence. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of that ride. I hope you guys enjoyed riding with DD and Shav on the Zoos 1100 and the Super 73RX and riding with me, Shreddy, on the Suron. So with the Zoos 1100, what do you think about it, D? I love it, but I can't wait till the one with suspension comes out because every time I hit a bump, it felt like I was getting like banged really hard. So if you're having a problem with 
your 1100 or 750 like the OGs, hurting your biscuits, you can always lower the pressure on the rear tire to about 20 PSI and you should be pretty good. But did you feel very stealthy on this? No Karen's looking at you? Yes, that's what I loved about it. Like I felt like I wasn't getting any dirty looks because you can't really tell it's the e-bike. So Dee did use mostly pedal assist one and a little bit of throttle. She got down to 50.3 volts on this battery and it dies around 42 volts. Job. Yo! What do you think about that bike? The Super 73 RX on the trails, bro. For my first time riding a Super 73, I have to say this is one of the coolest bikes. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I've actually, <laughs> I own set nine Super 73s. I do love this RX. RX is kind of like everything you need in a Super because it's got the roof suspension, front suspension. The only thing I gotta say about Shreddy's bike is that he's ridden the heck out of it. And as you can see, I have two miles left on the battery charge and they, both these bikes can keep going. So. We've put like 5,000 miles on this battery though. So, And as for me, for the Suron, I always feel like Karens are watching me on the Suron, but today on the trail, no problems at all. I don't even think I had like one person look at me and nod their head, which usually happens a lot. So definitely we had a good time on today's ride, even though I had the most non-stealthy e-bike. If you guys enjoyed that content, check out all those links down below. Check out the link down below for the Zoos 1100 and check out that link down below for the Super 73RX. If you're interested in the Zoos 1100, use code SHREDDY220, get $150 off your order. If you want the RX, there's a link down below for $100 off your order. And if you are interested in the Suron, there's a link down below from Built E-Bikes for $50 off your order. If none of these products are for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. As always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next sir ride. Damn, that, those horse flies. <laughs>